Hey, how's it going guys? For video number two today, we're doing a Hanley Ramirez debut on our main account. So looking at this card, I would say he's not as good as his Dodgers card from a couple years ago where he was just high contact, high power, high vision, but defensively, I will say, and speed wise, he is much better on this card. That being said, his hitting stats are still really damn good with 102 contact versus right, 107 versus left, 86 power versus right, 89 versus left, 92 vision, still very solid in the hitting department, 72 fielding. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like that's super amazing, but for a Hanley Ramirez card, that's not bad at all. And 91 speed, he's gonna be hitting two for us today. The way today's lineup is gonna stack up, we got Tony Gwen leading it off, Hanley Ramirez in the two hole, Joey Gallo, Frank Thomas, Charlie Blackman, Alomar hitting six. Now for somebody who's hitting 417 for me, that is a little bit of a reach, but like I said, this, this video isn't gonna be about Alomar, it's gonna be all about Ramirez, so he's gonna hit second for us. Then you got Willie Mays hitting seventh, odd two, and then Ron Jeremy, behind the dish we're not using pudge anymore and that's kind of why i really want to try Hanley ramirez pudge has not been doing well for me so just put put our cap right back behind home plate so on our main account we are rated 740 we're gonna go ahead and play at angel stadium if i could find it i don't know why i keep skipping over it but i do want to keep randomly putting in different stadiums i understand if i keep choosing ship it it doesn't appeal as much to you guys so we will from now on just randomly choose different stadiums that I know aren't that bad in the lag department and also still suit the needs of having what I want. All right, I'm excited to use this Hanley Ramirez card. I've actually heard some good things about him. Our opponent for today, Tristy Laflame. He's got Kershaw on the mound, so I guess that's good for hand ram. Ozzie Smith, Tony Gwen, Gary Carter, Pete Alonzo. He gets it. Pete Alonzo is an absolute animal. Ichiro, George Brett. He's got himself a pretty good team, and this might be a bullpen game. We got Justin Verlander on the mound. He, he either does really well and keeps people quiet or does horrific. There's no in-between for him. Hopefully, this is a game where our opponent doesn't read him too well. All right, so we're actually playing at the Nationals Park. It is a different park than usual. I am the away team. Let's get it started off with Tony Gwen. Tony does just miss that one. Got a change up, sat back on it well, did dip under it. So it's going to be a routine fly ball at center field. All right, the man, the myth, the legend, Hanley Ramirez. First at bat for us ever in this debut. What will he do? Got ourselves in a full count. Hanley Ramirez, he's been trying to dot a little too hard, so I am noticing that. Got to be patient with our opponent. What will Hanley get right here? We end up getting ball four, so a man with 91 speed is going to be on first base and 92 stealing. Joey Gallo up at the dish, better against lefties. End up taking ball four right on the corner, but does just miss first and second, Frank. Frank, oh my God, where did we miss that? It's probably because I power swung. Because I'm an idiot, I continue to do it. Oh yeah, dude, we miss. That's not even technically a miss with that power swing, but in the game, counts as a miss. No more power swing and I'm making that mistake again. Charlie Blackman gets a hold of that, but did he get all of it? It is going to die right at the warning track. So we did have our opportunities to score. We did choke with Frank. We did hit it harder with Charlie Blackman. Let's hopefully get some good quality innings out of Verlander because I kind of think of him as Matt Harvey. He's he's probably going to get hit pretty hard. 3-1, go with that 12-6. Hangs on us a little bit, but going to be very routine for the common fielding Charlie Blackman. Let me know who I should take when I make World Series. Should I take Troy Tulowitzki? Or should I take Ty Cobb? Let me know in the comment section down below. I am honestly 50-50 on it for a couple of reasons. I understand Ty Cobb, if you just look at stats, is clearly the better card. However, shortstop is a premium position and Tulowitzki might be able to hit pretty well depending on how his swing is. So that's what I'm talking about where I don't know which way to lean. I'll let you guys in the comment section dictate who I pick. 2-1 Verlander not finding the zone all that well. We're just going to go with that fastball, jam him, give up a late bleeder. So man on first with decent speed, one down. I don't trust it. I feel like he's not reading the fastball well. We'll go right back to it. Looks like should have went with the cutter. So first and second, full count to Polar Bear Pete. That's a good slider. That is a good hit. So he is going to be able to score on that. The late hit does end up scoring especially now first and second still only one down i'm also debating whether or not to go josh donaldson or bob gibson simply because uh with verlander i'm never excited for him to be on the mound i feel like he gets hit really hard 
hopefully bob gibson is that good pitcher at some point though i will be buying potentially even all three of the fifth inning stars but i've heard nothing but amazing things about josh donaldson missed that thought that was gonna sink a little bit but it stays flat that was the four seamer three very crappy outs not a good second inning at all miss a lot of good pitches to hit so as one two three we go right back to pitching hopefully verlander keeps him quiet for this inning like i said i do expect this to be a high scoring game on his end until i take out verlander oh one we're gonna go right back to that fastball inside try and jam him do just that but is that gonna find some grass again definitely looks like it does fall right in between charlie blackman and hand ram get that slider inside finds another ground ball base hit verlander is getting a combination of we choose the right pitches give up a crappy hit and then the good hits fall in go that slider low in a way that should be a ground ball double play we'll go ahead and concede the one run get two outs so now we're down two to zero another get me over change i feel like he's still gonna be sitting dead red fastball he ends up blooping it but does blackman have the range he does yeah I, that's why i'm also interested in going ty cobb i i love blackman think he'll be a great bat off the bench not necessarily a good fielder at all has really no range and makes makes a lot of errors verlander squares it up wish i did that with somebody who even had 50 power but that's gonna be out number one tony baloney hits it we're hitting him hard that's the that's the other issue we're hitting it hard we haven't found that hole just yet so that is now two down hanley i was in a mindset where i should have just took all the way oh two i feel like this pitch isn't gonna get him swing especially when we missed that far inside he actually ends up swinging don't know how you fell off a ball essentially at your own balls we're gonna go ahead and throw a fastball upstairs get a routine pop fly to joey gallo it's gonna be out number one. First pitch to tony we're gonna get that fastball inside give it to him give up another late hit where's the bowl of electric eels when you need him I, i'm feeling it today we go fastball up stairs he does swing i gotta utilize that pitch a little bit more he is over anxious especially on those o2 counts one one we're gonna go with that change up low and away that's gonna be a great pitch he stays with it he does foul it off i'm gonna go right back to this pitch he will chase it i do get the vibe he will he does blow it by him so we're still down by two he has six hits we have zero joey gallo squares it up hopefully that will burn the left fielder looks like it is not going to do that frank hits it hard eats up the third baseman but 40 speed is not going to beat that out all right somebody do something i could use at least a hit get us out of this funk and we're going to find ourselves uh, yet again another line out all right three one to each row i'm just i'm just thinking get me over change up just throw it over the plate get him out in front he's not if he had, worst case scenario he gets an extra base hit but three two count we're going to go right back to that pitch hopefully throw it a little bit better not really but we do still get him to roll it over so that is one down oh two we're gonna go slider inside hopefully we do oh, dear alomar show the range we're still gonna get the out on a slider that went right down the heart of the plate one two throw that slider good pitch we still haven't even gotten one base hit yet alomar i'll take i'll literally take anything and that is gonna end up getting over second baseman like i said i'll take anything that one not necessarily the greatest of hits but it gets the job done find ourselves in a 3-0 count last time he did throw kind of a get me over slider but i'm not going to green light it we get ball four a home run gives us the lead back ryan braun squares it up it looks like that one's gonna fall hopefully we don't get gunned at second we do just get in safely so base is juiced tony gwen avoid this double play tony gwen squares it up lines it that is not gonna find the gap common theme it's going right to his outfielders every time but we at least still do score one it's going to get by his catcher we're going to have second and third base hit does score two is he going to be able to come through hanley squares it up i don't know why i'm not surprised it's going to be another line out our opponent is opting to leave in kershaw i don't blame him realistically as we are hitting him hard he's only given up two hits so you might as well rock with what's what's essentially worked two one slider Get him to roll it over. That was definitely going to be a ball. So that could have been a 3-1 count. But like I said, rolls it over to first. It's out number one. Oh, two. If we throw this slider where I want, it's going to strike him out. Or get him to ground it over to hand ram. 
he's gonna get the job done so that is two down let's get a one two three inning two two that should be a good curveball he sits back on it but does miss it with tony so we do get ourselves a one two three inning frank squares it up if that's not gone so help me god do not die at the wall all right it hits off the wall i'll go ahead and take that we're not going to be able to turn that into a triple i don't know what lag that was but we do have a man on second robbie squares it up that one it's at least over his head right and it's gone we do get ourselves a lead right on back feel like we can breathe a little bit we finally got the lead all right three two we're going with the fastball he's very late fouling everything off i know he's like all of a sudden sitting off speed and we keep getting these late very late swing and misses or actually not swing and misses but foul tips screw it keep it going very late foul ball hate to see it keep doing it that ah, keep it going all right late 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 just gotta keep throwing strikes hopefully eventually he puts it in play he's all of a sudden early screw it we're still gonna stick with the fastball and we finally won that at bat the foul tips are over that's gonna be the first out two two fastball up and away ends up hitting it right to willie mays i'll take that little bit of line out magic right on back two down this this is a little bit of a risky pitch i don't know if he's still sitting fastball or looking off speed it pays off jam him with that fastball hanley ramirez getting it done defensively all right ron let's get the job done a base hit a home run whatever it takes just get on base and that is absolutely smoked we got ourselves a two-run lead now courtesy of ron jeremy duke squares it up i think that should be gone as well that or he's robbing it at the wall it does end up being another home run duke snyder and then tony gwen squares it up that should burn the outfielder it does that's going to be an easy double 89 speed definitely going to get there in time hanley squares it up does maybe get a little bit on top of that one so he is 0 for 2 today he hasn't he's well again to be fair he was out in front of that one but hits it hard right to the shortstop and his other out was a line out frank's probably a tad underneath it. it's gonna die it's gonna be a deep fly out so we do end up getting one more run honestly i would love to be up by four not just three but next inning who knows what happens let's just shut him down right here get our bats back up oh two time for that slider to come inside that is gonna be a home run honestly that is that's a good hit that that's just a good hit three two fastball up in a way ends up right over the heart of the play hoffman not getting the job done ends up getting racked hard two batters in a row you got one more at bat and then i'm definitely going to bring out kenley jansen see if he can shut it down because he's definitely my go-to so that cutter good pitch we're going to go right back to it show that we're not fool well throw a cutter down the middle trevor hoffman's day is gonna be done it is now a tie game one two throw that sinker upstairs get it by him kenley jansen we're gonna need you to go at least two innings oh two try and surprise him with that sinker upstairs again do just that that is the second strikeout for kenley one one throw that cutter get it in on his hands get the late jammed hit so trevor hoffman comes in gives up three runs kenley jansen comes in instantly shuts it down two very quick outs we're swinging like maniacs the pci size got a little too big again so gotta find a way to be patient osuna the pci gets even bigger great pci gets big i get impatient not not good not good all right kenley we need you to get another one two three inning good start one pitch one out our opponents looking like us couldn't stay patient one two we're gonna go right back to the money pitch sinker inside yet again another strikeout we need some good pitches right here out of kenley should have assumed that it was gonna go right away but it's gonna be a weak flare right to alomar we do jam him yet again so hopefully kenley can go another inning if we could get the lead i'm gonna leave him in ron jeremy squares it up that is gonna get down so a man on first 69 speed nice let's get him in and we end up getting beamed on a check swing i'm gonna take that all day i love that cheese so first and second if i was really really sweating this i would have tony gwen just do a bunt but that might be it's not going to be a double play we beat it out we may have to do a hit and run but hand ram against a lefty it's his time this is his debut hand ram hits it hard again the man's not finding any holes but i will say i do like his swing he constantly keeps hitting the ball hard at some point you would think his luck will turn around 
Joey Gallo ends up lining out as well. So we do end up getting one run courtesy of Hanley Ramirez. Could have been a lot more. Keep squaring it up, keep lining it out. But right here, can Bruce Suter close the door? We're going to have to rely on that pitch a lot. We're going to have to mix it around, low and in, high and in. Just throw it everywhere, an occasional fastball. But throwing it down the middle, not what I was talking about. So he does get a man off first. Winning run is going to be up at the plate. One, two, throw that slide piece out in front. Try and go to second. I understand we're not going to turn two, but I do want to get that lead runner. I do expect my opponent to have some balls again ends up getting a base hit was it i was thinking he was gonna steal that's where maybe lou gehrig is much much better at first base than frank thomas because that that was a ground ball right to our first baseman but frank didn't have the reaction time to do anything about it we're not going to be able to turn two here we're just going to go ahead at least get a potential winning run away from you know second base oh that's a bad pitch that's a bad pitch and a late hit oh my god all right well this is why I wanted to make sure the guy on second base was not going to be there. So a late hit. Those are coming to haunt us really bad. See if we could go ahead and remain and keep this tied at the very least. Just no more BS. If he gets the hit, he gets the hit. But make him earn it. And we get the strike three. Frank gets us the lead right on back without even getting any outs. Let's at least get one more. Thank you, Frank. Robbie's gonna square it up that is gonna fall down don't think we're gonna be able to turn that into do there's no bad animation there so a man on first one down we actually may have to steal because I don't really steal a whole lot and he's not paying attention Willie Mays is gonna shoot that by the first baseman we actually honestly may do a double steal I know I just said that but first pitch was too good 2-1 we're essentially gonna do a hit and run right here that's a good jump. We're going to take all the way. He throws this second. He might have had us at third, but second and third, we need to get him in. He's going to intentionally walk us. I get it. If we get a base hit, he might rage quit depending on how many runs score. He's going to bring up Joey Votto. He's going to go to his bullpen. But again, Joey Votto versus lefty is not bad at all. Joey Votto is going to scream it into the gap. He comes up clutch. That is at least going to score two do not think that's going to score three i'm not going to push that it's going to bring up our lead off man got ourselves a three run lead now tony gwen is gonna get us another line out so he ends up uh, again i'm not going to push the envelope i'm not going to swing at terrible pitches with hanley i know he's got a good swing i'm going to continue to use him i like what he's doing more than i liked pudge as we swing at a not the greatest pitch to swing at on the you know the first pitch of the at bat but we do have a three run lead this time around let's not uh let's not choke one two that is not gonna be where i want that sinker but it does lead to an out so i'll take it here is each row we're gonna go ahead and throw first pitch sinker jam him upstairs first or actually first pitch of the at bat that is now two outs one two i want to throw this dot of a sinker we're gonna miss again but zach Britton with the movement induces the weak contact so we end up winning this game nine to six wasn't the best game offensively for us we did have some line outs of course that did happen but we also didn't hit as well as we normally do but we still found a way through our pitching mostly to win notable players alomar was three for five a home run frank two for five a home run ron jeremy two for four a home run and duke off the bench with a home run probably gonna be ending up putting him in left field again but again i will ask you guys should i go troy tula whiskey when we hit world series or should i go ty cobb let me know in the comment section thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel y'all have a good day thank you very much